Hi, my name is Lewis Carroll, and uh, it's good to see you again. My last report was five years ago, so right now I am uh, I'm a month away from being 62 years old, and uh, so I figure I would uh, go ahead and take this time to do a 10-year report. Uh, for anybody who's been following along with this little journey of mine on the time machine, I've been on the time machine now for about 10 years, and uh, it's been fantastic. I mean, I feel wonderful. Um, I'm more active than ever right now. I'm, I'm playing tennis at least a couple times a week, uh, usually for uh, several hours each time. I am now fighting in a uh, jiu-jitsu class uh, with, with a bunch of fighters that are half my age. I mean, I'm fighting everything from store clerks to police officers that are in their 30s, you know, and I'm doing pretty well. Um, I'm just a white belt, so I'm, I'm nothing special, but, but I'm pretty strong for my size, so that's what's been, what's been keeping me alive. Anyway, it's been great fun. I'm also uh, in a motorcycle club, uh, and you know, every uh, we got a bunch of members, and every two weeks we get on the bikes and we take a ride somewhere. Usually it's local and we have lunch, but uh, but some of those rides are you know two, three nights. We've had up to six and eight night rides, you know, to faraway places like Yellowstone and things like that. You know. So at age 62, I didn't know that all this was going to be possible, but uh, when your hormones are up and your body's uh, had a chance for, for everything to heal, yeah, you, you can really feel like you're 30 again and just do anything you want. I, I'm, I feel, like I say, I feel fantastic. I, I think I, I have absolutely zero chronic inflammation, none. Um, and I remember one of the things that used to bother me was just sitting in a chair or in the, car, in the seat of a car or you know just being sedentary for an hour or two and I noticed that when I stood up, my knees would just be aching. You know, uh, there was that feeling of, hey, don't move just yet. Slow down. Walk around a little bit and, uh, until your knees get warmed up. Well, that doesn't happen to me at all. I mean, I can drive literally for hours, and when I get out of the vehicle, I just walk. I just do whatever I want to do. I mean, there's no pain whatsoever. Uh, getting the chronic inflammation down to that level, which is essentially zero, uh, has been fantastic, and that's what the time machine did for me. Uh, five years ago, I mean, I mean, let's go back ten years ago when I when I first put this formula together. We started out, you know, I had seven ingredients in there, and I noticed something good was happening. You know, well, five years later, you know, we had thirty ingredients in it, and now here we are, ten years later, and I'm up to forty-four ingredients in it. It's absolutely not profitable to sell it. You know, I mean, it, it's 125 a bottle and it costs that much uh, to make it, you know. So, uh, but it's not about the money. It's, um, it just had to be absolutely effective and that's still my, my goal. Um, but anyway, man, I just can't even tell you how good I feel. I feel great. Uh, once again, I take no medications of any kind. And, uh, you know, I, I operate like any other 30 year old. I would assume, you know, um, that's what it seems like to me anyway. Uh, all right, so we've got some, uh, some new blood tests that, that some people have been nice enough to give me, which is always kind of nice to see. Um, I'm going to flip through some of these. Uh, I'll start out with one that I ran on myself. Um, this was not too long ago, and I, I had a 687 on my... Uh, my uh, total testosterone and a 78 on my free testosterone, which for, for you know, a guy that's almost 62 years old, that's pretty good. That's really good, actually, um, considering that I'm not taking any kind of, you know, testosterone injections or anything like that. I mean, my own body is doing it, and my own body regulates this. Uh, I'll flip over to another one here. Uh, this one, that one's interesting right there. Uh, this is a friend of mine. And I promise not to use his name, so uh, here we go. But he is 68 years old, and his, his uh, total testosterone was 872, and his free testosterone, which is the one that counts, was 82.4. Um, again, this is all natural, and uh, his own body regulates that, and that's thanks to the, thanks to the time machine. Uh, prior to that, he was nowhere near those numbers. He was way, way lower. Um, I'll go a little bit further. Let's see here. Oh, the guy I just showed you, 68. He's got a younger brother who I believe in his late. He's in his late 
50, I think it's 58. And, um, so Mr. Peter Shooter. There it is. Uh, his testosterone level is 686.2, which uh, again is a, is a great number for, for that age uh, to be all completely natural. And then uh, here's one from a really good friend of mine. I love this guy. His name is Lanny. Uh, he was born in 1945. So, what is he? Uh, in his late 70s. And his uh, testosterone level is where is it at here? 732, 732 nanograms per deciliter. And his uh, T3 levels are 2.9 with a range of 2.0 to 4.4. Uh, let me touch on that just briefly. I mean, this is uh, interesting stuff uh, and how the body works. But uh, when you raise testosterone and growth hormone, which is what the time machine does very significantly, um, you will increase the conversion of fibro T4 into T3, T4 being the inactive form and T3 being the active form. So what you're going to do essentially is you're going to raise T3 levels. And fibro T3 regulates cellular metabolism. So what that means is that you get to a point where because your cellular metabolism has been increased, uh, you can pretty much eat like a teenager and uh, not gain any weight. I mean, I'm still 190 pounds and uh, I haven't gained any weight. My strength is doing really well. I'm, I'm, I'm in the gym. I'm actually squatting 315 pounds uh, every week now. And I'm doing curls, big barbell curls with uh, 135 pounds, uh, 245 pound plates on each side. So pretty good for, uh, for my age, you know. Um, and there's no pain. I don't have any tendon issues, nothing, nothing, nothing bothers me. If anything, like if I had any tendon issues, I, I wouldn't be in a jiu-jitsu class, believe me. I mean, you pull as hard as you can. Basically, we got six minute rounds, and you got six minutes to tap this guy out before he taps you out. And if you're not pulling with everything you got, uh, you're gonna lose, you know? So uh, the time machine makes that possible for me. I, I'm, I can't even tell you how thankful I am for that. But getting back to thyroid T3, um, thyroid T3 does more than just keep you lean. Um, it also protects the prostate. Um, what thyroid T3 does is it inhibits aromatase. Now, to give you a little background on this, aromatase is an enzyme that's uh, produced by your fat cells that converts some of your testosterone into estradiol. Estradiol causes your prostate to grow. If you're a man, you definitely want to keep estradiol under control. And uh, I think it's been a little baffling for the medical community to try to figure out why men are, you know, have prostate issues and why this is a, a very prolific killer of men over 50 years old. Um, it's because testosterone is declining, estradiol is rising up uh, because aromatase is rising up. Uh, and estradiol will make you fatter and it will cause cell proliferation in the prostate gland and it, uh, it can lead to BPH or even prostate cancer. Um, so by, you know, when these doctors say, hey, well, we're just gonna give you testosterone injections to get your testosterone back up, that's really a bad thing to do. And the reason why is because, it's, it's, uh, as you may already know, it's, it's been connected to heart disease, but it's also risky because unless aromatase, that enzyme has been addressed, aromatase is gonna convert some of that testosterone into estradiol. So by getting testosterone injections, your estradiol levels are going to rise as a result and you're going to end up with a prostate issue. Uh, this is also the reason that um, doctors, one of the first things they'll do is greatly limit your testosterone. They'll even give you drugs that will reduce testosterone if you, if you have PSA levels that rise up, you know, around seven, eight, nine, they're going to cut your testosterone levels because they know that testosterone is connected with this estradiol problem, uh, with the prostate problem rather. Um, but see, here's, here's what they're missing. What you have to do is you take testosterone and growth horm hormone both up, which will cause an increase in T3, and T3 will then limit aromatase, which will limit estradiol levels, and that will protect your prostate. And this is 
is, in my opinion, this is exactly the reason that we have a lot of young people in their 20s, you know, that are running around with high T levels because they're young and they don't have a prostate problem because the high T levels and the higher growth hormone levels have resulted in a greater conversion of thyroid T4 into T3 and T3 controls and inhibits aromatase. So they can have high T levels, high thyroid levels, T3, and still low estradiol levels. And it, it, that's, that's the balance. That's a beautiful balance and that's what you're trying to achieve. And you can't achieve that by just going out there and getting testosterone injections. You're handling one hormone. And all the hormones need to be handled and they need to be handled in a way that there is a, a, a very good balance between them. So, because they all work synergistically with each other. So that's what the time machine does. Um, but anyway, without uh, dragging this video out much longer, I just wanted to report back that it's been 10 years. I feel fantastic. Um, I think we've, we've really hit on a, on a great, great product. And, uh, and the world doesn't even know about it yet. I haven't even gone above radar. You know, we're not advertising, we're not doing anything. It's just spreading my word of mouth and now I'm shipping on a daily basis. Uh, we got people ordering six to 12 bottles at a time, you know, and, and I don't recommend that because I still tweak the formula. So to have the latest mix, it's better to just order one bottle at a time and just, just, just leave it at that because it's, it's going to be a little different every time you get it. I work on this constantly. Um, so anyway, that wraps it up. I just want to let you know uh, life is great. By the way, the only question I have right now, uh, now that I've come this far with it, is how long can the human body last? If the hormones don't decline, in my opinion, you've knocked out the top three killers, which is going to be heart disease, cancer, and dementia. Now, without those three pathologies creeping into your life from hormone decline, and it's all been connected to hormone decline, uh, how long can you then live? And this is what we got to figure out. we got to figure out if the body can go to 150 or 200 or 250 or, or whatever it can do um, when the hormones don't decline. Uh, what we've seen, uh, especially in my case, I've been on it 10 years longer than anybody because I started this thing and my hormones haven't declined in 10 years as long as I stay on the product. Now if I go off of the product, yeah, within 30 days my hormones begin to decline again and I just basically go back to the normal aging process. And since I have no interest in that, I'm not ever going to stop taking the time machine. But it appears that the body doesn't become resistant to the time machine as long as you're taking it your hormones stay up high and in a beautiful balance and you end up feeling really, really good. So uh, that's my report and I'll see you again, I suppose, in another five years. Thanks for watching.